All right, so that is the... Uh, remember how I talked earlier about how the, how the temple's kind of partitioned into two halves? So that's the first half we're done. And I think... I don't think it's actually really exactly half. I think this is this next part's probably a little bit shorter. But, oh yeah. Okay, so these blue bubbles... These blue bubbles... These things are kind of annoying. Because they have that same blue smoke, so if you try to attack them, or if, they, if you let them hit you, then they'll curse you, and then you can't use your items or your sword. It's like, it just like that blue fog from the earlier room. And they're, and you can see that he didn't even take any damage. He didn't die from my sword swipe. <laughs> what, a, what a thought. So there are a few things that you can do to kill these guys. Uh, the first one I ever figured out was... I, oh, ice arrows! Ice arrows actually knocked him out. Not fire arrows, I don't think. Yeah, so ice arrows will do that for you. And also, you can see why I equipped the... Oh gosh, the Deku Leaf! <laughs> to blow the smoke away. And there you go. Alright, and you definitely do not want those guys hanging around in this room, so make sure to kill them first. Because you can actually see... If you're, if you're paying attention and panning your camera all about as you should be, there's a little bit of a hidden path over here. A secret platform. Yep. How about that? And what? <laughs> Look at how many how many people have died over here. Oh gosh, it's so morbid. Yep, so all you're coming over here for is rupees. And if you're thinking, well, this seems like a bit of a strange place to just hide a buttload of supplies. Well, you're actually right about that, because that's not all that's here, if you remember our old friend Tingle. Oh yeah, how many of you guys thought I would forget about this one? Let's see. Why do you take so long to call, Tingle? Gosh, do I have to dial a 1-800 number? Are you toll-free? Okay, thank you. Uh, why, why are you yelling at me? What is the Earth Temple like, sir? It sucks! No, not really. Alright, so let me actually pan the camera so you guys can see this. But if you, uh... This is where the Tingle statue in this temple is, so you just gotta use your Tingle Bomb there, and like magic. Something that apparently was taken out of the HD version, because I guess that you don't really have a Tingle Tuner in that game. What is it, the Tingle Bottle? I don't even know. I really should play that at some point. Alright, but this should be our fourth Tingle statue? I mean, four temples, four statues, I guess it makes sense. You got the Earth Tingle statue, it's cool and damp and smells like mold. Just like the real Tingle. Good. Okay. Let's get this atrocity off of my screen. <laughs> yeah, I, de I definitely need the deck relief for that. Oh, can I make this? Ooh, I don't want to fall into the blue fog below, please! Whoa, <laughs> Link! Oh, gosh. Cutting a little bit close there, guy. Thankfully, your boots have quite good grip, it seems. Grip of champions. Alright, so I guess this stone is actually meant to demarcate the uh, second half of the temple, because it's the only other one in the temple, I think. But any excuse to hear this song again is fine by me, honestly. I know I mentioned before how this isn't my favorite song. It's, uh, it's my second favorite, I'd say. We still have not learned my favorite. It's in the same vein as this one, though. It's another six-note song. We'll come across it in short order, I think. Get out of the way, guys. It's gonna explode. Oh, never mind. It's just, uh... It just kinda crumbled to pieces. Alright. Um, for some reason, I thought there was another room, but... Oh, gosh, I see Redeads. Alright, well, actually, this is probably a good opportunity to show this off is that you can, like I said, they don't react very nicely to light, so you can actually stun them and get close to them. So that's another way to deal with Redeads, if you happen to have light nearby. You won't always with Redeads, because you don't actually need light to deal with them. With Pose, you generally will, so don't worry about them too much. Gosh, look, this one, this first one's still, ugh, gosh, it takes so long, it's awful. Alright, can I actually, oh, I can't just do that, look at that. Alright, but for this other statue over here... Well, actually, maybe you you might even be able to just barely hit that. I don't know, it may be somewhat better at the game than me could do that, but what you're supposed to do is actually reflect it onto this mirror, I think. There you go. 
You could do that on the other side too. I just felt like being a being a weirdo, I guess. Being a misanthrope. I'm pretty sure that's not what misanthrope means at all, but oh well. Man, these redads are loaded. <laughs> they were planning on going to the auction house or something. All right. I know that the King of Red Lions said I could leave Madly behind and it would be okay, but I don't want to just abandon her. She's so delicate and demure, with the sweetest little voice. Okay, uh, I think she can stand to stay out of the way here, though. Let me see. Oh, there are four masters there. Yeah, so... Can I actually, like, do anything about this fog, or do I just have... I think I just have to book it through. And just try to avoid the four masters as best I can. Well, there's your clear. <laughs> just do a serpentine path, I guess, is the way to get through that. And somehow opening this chest. Oh, I guess the shininess of this key brought light to this place, because look at this. And, uh, you could deal with the all. Well, actually, you know what? You see how there's another chest on this. in this room, but it's actually not over there? It's not. It's where that floor master is, actually. He's hiding it. He's got it clutched in his little grip. He's gonna try and throw it at me as a weapon, just like I threw medley at that skull earlier. God, that's so, still so funny. All right, oh gosh, when they retract, when these guys retract into the ground like that, by the way, do not stand over them. Don't stand like over the little black holes in the ground, because they will grab you and they will suck you up, and suck you dry. That came out wrong. Another way you can deal with these guys, uh, <laughs> it's the hammer again. It's oh my favorite hammer. Whoa! You can you can parry these guys? Hold on. I, well, it wasn't very effective, it seems. But uh, all right. Well, hey, dude. Oh, oh, come on! I just want to. Here we go. That's one way to do it. That's a good way to deal, to deal with any enemy, I I think. In my experience. But boom. So fun. If you got the magic reserves for it, might, might, might as well, right? You can just smash them with a the hammer if you want. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's like an actual... <laughs> I didn't know that that has a special animation for that. I suppose I should have thought of that, because most enemies seem to have a special animation for when you smash them with a skull hammer like this. Oh, let's do the baseball. Oh, not the baseball. What? <laughs> Hi, uh... Can you, can you... Doing alright there, Floor Master? I think he fell asleep. I don't know, maybe this hammer gave him a concussion or something. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> I guess he didn't hear that. Oh, hi! Peace out, buddy. <laughs> that was weird. Uh-oh. You know, I think I'm just going to use the hammer for the entire rest of this game. And just never use the sword again. Even against the final boss. Even against Ganon. Man, this th these guys are totally weirded out, weirded out by this hammer. Oh well, there you go. Man, that was that was more fun than it had any right to be. A video game being fun? Blasphemy. Anyway, so I think this... Uh, cause, yeah, every temple seems to have two treasure shards, and this should be the first of them, I think. I can't for the life of me remember where the second one is in this dungeon, though. I don't think, I don't think I've already missed it. So now thinking about it, I might have. Because you, mm. You know, I'm gonna run up really quick and, uh, I'll, I'm gonna cut, actually. Cut back to a certain room that we missed earlier on, cause we couldn't do it. Cause I think that might be where the treasure chart is. If it's just a joy pendant, I swear to god I'm gonna throw my controllers with the fucking TV. <laughs> but uh No I won't. It's not that rage inducing, but I'll be right back. Do it again, medley work your magic. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it with your circus style laugh. I hate you. Alright, I suppose this is a good place to cut back in as any. Uh I don't know if you guys remember this little door over here in one of the earlier rooms. Oh, I didn't Link, you can't step on that yourself. Come on. You gotta have Medley do the dirty work. But last time we came in here, we did not have the mirror shield. But this time, you know what? This does not seem like an area that would have a 
Well, I guess it kind of does seem like an area that would have a treasure chart, but... That chest does definitely does not preclude that. Let's see. Good. <laughs> That's my favorite thing in the world. Let me put that around my neck and, uh... Well, the rest of that sentence is rated R, so let's not... Let's not go there. Alright, medley girl. Let's get back to business. Meet you guys back in that other room. Don't mind me, guys. Just running through with a girl on my head. It's, uh, it's cool. I'll leave you to your cursing business or, or whatever you want to do. Alright. <laughs> Did you guys think I was kidding about using the hammer exclusively? <laughs> Don't worry, I was. I just, uh... Oh, no! 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 <laughs> Man, the hammer worked against me! How dare you! Anyway, so uh, I have the key for that door up there, but I'm trying to remember. I think I actually do need to go in this other door over here first. And I'm pretty sure just like pretty much every other temp room in the temple, we do need medley again. You guys kind of see what I'm talking about, how this is an escort mission, but not an escort mission? Because like you don't need to escort her anywhere per se, and she can, she can like handle her own, mostly because she doesn't have any health to speak of. Oh wait, oh, okay. I remember that. If you try to fly across here, that floor master will actually grab Medley out of the air from you. So, be wary of that. Let me actually try this. Let me just try not even freezing you. Let's just, let's just, let's set you on fire, buddy. <laughs> Aww. Oh, uh, for some reason I think there's another one, but you know what? I'm brave, let's do this, Medley. Fly right across! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Oh gosh. Normally they just grab her right out of the air and then you can't really do anything about it and she gets taken to that prison, but. Not today, I guess. That's cool. Did I even, did I even need Medley for this room? I don't feel like I did anymore for some reason. Because I'm pretty sure, like, you don't need to fly across that pit. But you know what, Medley, you're, uh, you're good eye candy, so keep you around. <laughs> Oops, I missed. There you go. So that light, uh... It's not... Not the best right now, but you'll, you'll see what the purpose that actually serves a little bit later on here. Oh, yeah, see, see like that, like that, okay. Okay, uh, don't th Did he just throw her? Hey, you jerk. Jer <laughs> He's doing it again, what's with these guys today? They are just totally out of it. Been working at the drive through too long or something, buddy? Just kind of burnt tonight? Hopefully someone gets that reference. <laughs> Alright, oh, gosh. Oh, Medley, did you fly into the wall again? Or were you possessed by a Poe, maybe? Hi, Argon Matrix here. Have you been possessed by a Poe lately? If so, I have, uh... Nothing to say to you. you kinda, you're kind of terrible. Kind of a terrible person. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This temple's getting to me, man. Anyway. So now that we go into this room, we'll actually see where that light we've spawned earlier comes into. And does the light actually do anything to these guys? Oh, I need. I need the proper angle. It doesn't do anything to them. Ah, abort, abort. <laughs> Well, that's one way to get a Poe in the light, I guess. Here, I'm actually going to show this off. If you get uh, possessed by a Poe like this, you can just run into a light source and they'll automatically die. Oh, this guy just wants to die on his own. I didn't even get anywhere near him. So that's another of the myriad ways you can deal with Poe's, I guess. All right. And actually, that thing I was talking about earlier, how the angle of the angle you're standing at depend determines uh, how you can reflect light. That actually comes into play here because you can, I think you can hit these two statues just fine. But that third one there, I don't think we can get a good angle on it. And I think the third one is actually the one you need to knock out. Because these two are just for supplies. All right, hit you right in the knee. Oh man, photons to the knee. That's gotta suck. 
Thankfully, though, we do still have Midley around, so let's circumvent this angle business. The angle that it's not supposed to go at. So, uh, wise man once said. I think. Hmm, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. It's just kind of a rough scattershot job, but it'll work. Yay, teamwork! High five, Medley. High five? No? Alright. <laughs> Look at us, Medley. We're great. We make a perfect right angle of light. It's great.